Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. There is a humanoid robot that is built for indoors. Are you serious? This robot lives better than you in your home. And we're going to get into it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So it's called uh, the, you know, Neo Beta. And, you know, how does it compare to other humanoid robots? I got you. Finally, an explanation. So the Neo Beta, uh, it was is developed by One X Technologies. It, it has very notable, you know, features that differentiate it from other human, ro you know, humanoid robots. You have size and weight. Right, the Neo Beta is significantly lighter than many competing humanoid robots. The Neo Beta is 25 kilograms, that's about 66 pounds. Uh, the Tesla Optimus, that's about 57 uh, kilograms, that's 152 pounds. The Figure 02, that's about 187 pounds. The Unitree G1, that's about 94 pounds. So this lighter weight enhances Neo safety protocol for home use and interactions with humans. So some of the capabilities are the movement, right? Neo can walk at 2.5 miles per hour and can run at 7.5 miles per hour and climb stairs. The strength, it can lift double its weight, 154 pounds and carry up to 44 pounds. The battery life, Neo can operate for two to four uh, two to four hours on a single charge the safety features it's soft cushion exterior to minimize injury risk during interactions there's no pinch points in its design uh it's bio inspired technology for gentler movements now there's ai and learning right neo's ai is designed to adapt to individual user preferences and needs through several key features um, you know, you have the personal uh, personalized task learning. The Neo starts by introducing itself yeah. and asking the user what tasks uh, that would like, you know, you would like to help with, right? This allows the robot to tailor its capabilities to each specific household's needs. Um, there's the customizable instructions. Users can instruct Neo on how to perform tasks, as, uh, you know, according to their preferences. The robot doesn't come pre-programmed with fixed routines, but rather learns from user input. If you like this video so far, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you like this information, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. There's also continuous learning, right? As Neo is used, for, you know, more in the home, it gathers data to improve its general AI models over time. This allows it to become smarter and more adept or adapted, right, to the user's lifestyle with increased interaction. There's the embodied intelligence by operating in real world home environments. Neo develops diverse data sets that enhance its ability to handle a variety of domestic situations and tasks, right? There's task automation. Neo aims to automate chores and tasks that users prefer not to do themselves, adapting to individual preferences for which tasks, you know, don't, you know, they take on. There's flexible capabilities rather than having predetermined functions. Neo is designed as a general purpose assistant that can be customized to each home's unique needs. The key to Neo's adaptability is that it doesn't come with a fixed set of skills, but rather learns and develops capabilities based on direct interaction with an instruction, right? From its users in their home environment. This allows it to become increasingly tailored to each household specific preferences and routines over time. There's the design of uh, philosophy unlike many humanoid robots with a sleek high-tech experience or appearance right neo has a more norm core aesthetic potentially making it more approachable for home use while neo shows promise in several areas it's important to note that it's still in development right it's going to get better most likely right it's real world performance and how it truly compares to other humanoids will become clearer as it you know enters pilot testing in homes So uh, there are some machine learning algorithms that come with the NEO, right? Uh, and here is some information about that. You have the reinforcement learning. This allows the AI to learn from interactions and feedback, improving its performance over time based on rewards and penalties. There's collaborative filtering. It often used, you know, it's, it's used in recommend, uh, recommendation systems, right? This technique can help Neo learn user preferences by comparing them to similar users. So if Neo doesn't, you know, it doesn't want to do it, just say you spank it. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. You have neural networks, right? Deep learning models that can be used to process complex input data and learn intricate patterns in user behavior and preferences. You have um, Bayesian learning. This um, probabilistic approach can help Neo update its beliefs about user preferences as it gathers more data. There's online learning, which is algorithms that can update models in real time as new data becomes available, allowing for continuous adaptation. There's transfer learning. This technique could allow Neo to apply knowledge learn from one user or task to new related situations so it's important to note that without specific information about neo's implementation there are educated guesses based on common practices in adaptive ai systems the actual algorithms used by neo may differ or combine various approaches to achieve its adaptive capabilities Now we do have another robot here, right? And that's the Ameca robot. It's also built for indoors, right? Ameca is a humanoid robot that was developed by Engineered Arts that was first introduced in December, 2021. The robot is designed to facilitate human interaction and is equipped with advanced technologies that allow it to express a range of emotions and gestures, making it appear more relatable to humans. Now. When it comes to the, to the development and features, again, it was, you know, uh, the development began in February 2021 and it quickly gained attention for its realistic human-like appearance and capabilities. The robot's features articulated motorized arms, fingers, and facial expressions, all powered by artificial intelligence. Its design includes gray rubber skin, contributing to its gender-neutral presentation. Ameca is equipped with various sensors, including microphones and cameras, enabling it to engage in conversations and recognize faces. So there's there's a there's a purpose of of public engagement. So the primary purpose of Ameca is to explore and enhance human robot interaction. It serves as a platform for developing technologies that can be integrated into future robotic applications. Ameca has made several public appearances, right? There's the CES of 2022 and the International Telecommunication Union AI for a good global summit in 2023 where it demonstrated its capabilities in engaging with audience wow. that's that's why you know that's what they're doing over there so the social impact and future prospects Ameca is positioned as a tool for fostering collaboration between humans and robots again indoors in the home right aiming to enrich lives in sustainable communities its creators envision a future where robots like Ameca can coexist with humans alleviating fears about job displacement by emphasizing collaboration further than competition. The robot's ongoing development may lead to even more sophisticated emotional responses and capabilities in future iterations. We then have the Sophia robot, right? That's another robot that's built for indoors. And Sophia is a highly advanced humanoid robot developed by Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong based company. And here are some remarkable things about this AI powered robot. So, Sophia was first activated in February 14, 2016. So it's probably one of the more, more earlier ones, which gives it uh, a competitive advantage, being that it was there longer compared to the newer robots, right? And, you know, it you know it made her public debut in March 2016 at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas. She was created by Hanson Robotics founder David Hanson, who modeled her appearance after Audrey Hepburn and his wife. So the capabilities and technology of Sophia is, you know, Sophia is designed to display human-like expressions and interact with people in a natural way. And here are some of her key features. Uh, there's the visual processing, right? Cameras in her eyes allow her to recognize faces, maintain eye contact, and visually track her surroundings. There's the natural language processing, right? She can engage in conversations using advanced speech recognition and synthesis technologies. There's facial expressions, right? This is what makes her unique. Sophia can produce over 60 facial expressions thanks to her life skills. You know, her lifelike skin uh, made of material called fruber right and there is some ai and machine learning in her right her responses are generated through a combination of pre-programmed responses and machine learning algorithms that allow her to improve over time here are some notable achievements right of sophia so sophia has gained significant attention worldwide and, and achieved several notable uh milestones 
What are those milestones? In October 2017, she became the first robot to achieve citizenship. Isn't that crazy? Granted by Saudi Arabia, right? She was named the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion in November 2017. She got a citizenship, you guys. Sophia has appeared on numerous television shows and spoken at conferences around the world. Now, what would Saudi Arabia give her a, a, a citizenship? That, that's kind of, uh, you know, unique. Uh, there are purposes and applications, right? Uh, she serves many purposes. There's the research platform. She is used for studying human-robot interactions and advancing AI and robotic technologies. Uh, Sophia helps promote public discussion about AI ethics and future of robotics. There's entertainment. Her lifelike appearance and conversational abilities make her a popular attraction at events and in media appearances. So that's what I have for you today. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.